Hello, I'm Yolanda Brown. I'm right here from Galveston, Texas, and it's pretty cool to be here at Hotel Galvez today doing this uh, Humans of Galveston. Uh, growing up in Galveston was actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, I did, I did the elementary schools here, Rosenberg Elementary, uh, San Jacinta, Austin Middle School, Central Middle School, and of course, Ball High School, class of 96. Um, and then, you know, after Galveston, uh, I went on to uh, study at Prairie View. I studied uh, psychology and counseling. And uh, eventually after that, I wound up moving to Houston. And I've been in Houston ever since uh, the early 2000s. And uh, Houston is my home right now, but, I'm, but I'll always be a Galveston lady, a Galveston girl. Uh, currently, uh, right in Houston, right about now, I am a mental health uh, counselor in private practice. I've been practicing over the last 10 years of my life, and uh, I primarily do uh, I primarily do counseling with a lot of kids, primarily the uh, foster care population that I really love. I spend a lot of time with those kids. Uh, I, I love it. I love working with the youth. I love uh, dealing with everything that they bring to me. Um, I couldn't. I really couldn't have asked for pretty much a better career. Um, some of my biggest hurdles were uh, leaving corporate America and getting into private practice. Those were some of my uh, biggest hurdles. Uh, and some of the people who made some of the biggest influences on me were uh, Reverend uh, Edward Vincent or also Baba Fana from the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Uh, he pretty much uh, guided me through uh, corporate America and also guided me into my private practice. Uh, unfortunately, he's no longer here with us, but he's definitely here with us in spirit. And um, Pretty much, uh, I'm just flowing and going with uh, with life at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty pretty happy these days, and uh, pretty much just going going with the flow of everything. I walk every day at Herman Park. Um, I travel a lot. Some of the coolest places I've been to in the world are Angola, uh, South Africa. I've been all over Europe. Been down to Brazil. I've been to Belize at least 15 or 20 times. I lost count. I don't know. Uh, and to be honest with y'all, uh, believe it or not, I recently just came back from, uh, from New Orleans. Uh, I spent New Year's down there. It was my first time down there and it was great. And uh, so pretty much uh, I love to international travel and also like to travel here in the United States. in Galveston was a good experience for me because I grew up around a lot of my cousins and a lot of my aunts, my grandmother. Uh, we only pretty much like lived like a couple of houses down from each other. So we were always at each other's houses, playing, eating, riding bikes together, going to the beach, you know, uh, watching cartoons together, uh, riding the ferry together, all that good stuff. Uh, I mean, we spent a lot of time on the beach, especially in the summer times, riding our bikes, getting lost. Uh, it was just fun. Uh, and, uh, you know, growing up, with, growing up so close to my cousins, uh, we were pretty much each other's best friends. And, uh, you know, we, we were there for each other all of the time. Uh, so growing up in Galveston was great, and uh, growing up in Galveston was extra good too for me because my first job was at Rosenberg Library. So I had worked there from like about 10th grade to like about the 12th grade. 